Next, let me discuss the other group of anti-epileptic drugs which are benzodiazepines. Remember, the benzodiazepines, the drugs in this particular class, it includes diazepam, it includes lorazepam, then we, it includes what is called as the clonazepam and then we have the clobazam. So these are the benzodiazepines. What is the mechanism of action of these particular drugs? Remember these drugs, they act by GABA facilitatory activity. Right, they act by GABA facilitatory activity. That means these drugs will facilitate the action of the GABA and thereby and GABA is what it is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. So once they facilitate the activity of GABA, the inhibitory neurotransmitter activity is increased and thereby there will be reduction of the abnormal neuronal uh, discharge and thereby these are useful in the treatment of epilepsy. Now the other thing is these particular drugs, not only they have the GABA facilitatory activity, these drugs increase the frequency of chloride channel opening right these drugs will increase the frequency of chloride channel opening right they will increase the frequency of the chloride channel opening so once the chloride channels are frequently open what will happen is the chloride they enter into the neuronal cells and they will suppress the activity of the neurons and thereby they are useful in the treatment of epilepsy now out of these drugs you see here diazepam lorazepam and as well as clonazepam these three drugs they are useful in the management of acute seizures right these three drugs they are useful in the treatment of acute seizures and there are some important multiple choice questions here now you take we have a terminology which is called as the status epilepticus right we have what is called as status epilepticus now what is this status epilepticus remember status epilepticus is that particular clinical condition which is characterized by continuous episodes of seizures without regaining the consciousness in between the episodes right status epilepticus it is defined as continuous episodes of seizures without regaining consciousness in between the episodes is called as the status epilepticus remember for status epilepticus the drug of choice is lorazepam so lorazepam this is considered as drug of choice for status epilepticus right and here we give this lorazepam via intravenous route whereas we have very important multiple choice question about the diazepam remember diazepam it is used via parrectal route right it is used via parrectal route for febrile seizures so remember for febrile seizures the diazepam it is considered as the drug of choice right for febrile seizures the diazepam it is considered as the drug of choice and the route of administration of this particular drug is the parrectal route right the route of administration is the parrectal route all right now you take these benzodiazepines these benzodiazepines they have very prominent sedative effects like compared to that of your barbiturates so they have prominent sedative effects right they have prominent sedative effects with this benzodiazepines now the problem with this particular benzodiazepines is tolerance will develop to this benzodiazepines for the anti-epileptic effect right so benzodiazepines once the individual take it for chronically the individual develops 
टॉलरेंस टू एंटी एपलेप्टिक इफेक्ट राइट टॉलरेंस डेवलप्स टू एंटी एपलेप्टिक इफेक्ट सो दैट इज द रीजन वाई दीज बेन्सोडाइजीन दीज आर नॉट इंडिकेटेड फॉर द क्रॉनिक यूज और दीज आर नॉट इंडिकेटेड फॉर द लॉन्ग टर्म यूज सो दीज आर फ्यू पॉइंट अबाउट यूर बेन्सोडाइजीन्स सो रिमेंबर बेन्सोडाइजीन द एग्जाम्पल्स इंक्लूड डाइजीपाम लोरेजीपाम क्लोनाजीपाम एंड एज वेल एज क्लोबाजाम द मेकेजम ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ दीज ड्रग्स इज दे आर एक्टिंग एज दे आर हैविंग गाबा फेसिलिटेटरी एक्टिविटी and they also increase the frequency of the chloride channel opening and these three drugs that is dizepam lorazepam and clonazepam they are useful in the treatment of acute seizures now out of which you take the lorazepam it is considered as drug of choice for status epilepticus via intravenous route whereas you take dizepam once it is given per rectal route it is considered as the drug of choice for the febrile seizures and the important adverse effects with benzodiazepine is the sedative effect similar to that of your barbiturates and the problem with the benzodiazepines is benzodiazepines whenever it is used chronically the individual will develop tolerance to the anti epileptic effect so that is the reason why this benzodiazepines these are not useful for long term use so these are few points about your benzodiazepines